when duck season opens, we start hunting until duck season closes. Cut them. Hidden away in the Louisiana backwater, the duckmen have remained elusive and mysterious for three decades. If I could not hunt, the only thing that would be left, I guess, would be to die. For 30 years, Phil Robertson's life has been dedicated to the relentless pursuit of ducks. I'd fool around with trying to make a better duck call more duck-like. He pioneered the modern duck call broke new ground in hunting videos and redefined the hardcore duck hunter. It's not a, a sport with us, okay? It's a way of life. Cy Robertson. You start getting up at 3 o'clock in the morning to get ready to duck hunt. <laughs> now, for the first time on national television, see the men behind the legend. I'm Willie Robertson. The Boss Hog, CEO of Duck Commander Company. Well, that payroll's for hauling. That ain't for getting in. I'm the brains of the operation, so to speak. There's no ducks going to come in here while there's a man pushing 300 pounds in an hors d'oeuvre dish out in the decoys. Jace Robertson. Me and Willie fought every day for three years. What do you think? You ain't going to make it. Jace is a terrible communicator. That's slow. Keep going. Yeah, what we had was a failure to communicate, but that's been our whole life. You just watch the bat. Whoa! Moron, you hit my mailbox. John Godwin. I'm one of the duckmen. I'm also the go-to guy, the decoy tech. You know, I'm pretty protective over my decoys. I handle them with kid glue. Mistake. Benelli brings you into the blind at home and on the road with the Robertsons as they hunt through the season while staking their claim as the world's greatest duck hunters. Going to Arkansas, Little Rock, I-530, US-65, I-45, We'll get in there with an RV that Willie Boy got, but just in case the thing doesn't make it, we'll get, uh, we'll have a trailer, a vehicle trailer. I hate to drive up in the mountains in the wind on this thing. I'm gonna have to be back here with my eyes closed. Get ready for an exclusive look into the business, the blinds, and the minds that comprise Duck Commander. Post-college days, till I was about 28, uh, I would consider myself a violent person. Bill was a rascal, as he would say, for a rank heathen for about 10 years. Getting commode, hugging drunk. He's never been in any danger of getting father of the year. Fighting, smoking dope. Up until I was seven years old, you know, every time I saw my dad, we all just broke and ran. Just running, shooting way too many ducks. Being unfaithful, as he call it, a whoremonger. Ha! Huh. Sinner I was, no doubt about that. He's not been perfect, and it's been hard. I gave my life to Jesus at about 28. After he came to the Lord, you know, I saw a big change in his life. The duck call comes along, and the rest is history. Is either a big coincidence or the Almighty bless me, one or the other. I'm leaning toward the Almighty bless me. Brought to you by Bonelli. This summer on the Outdoor Channel.